Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw, well actually I'm not, I'm going to show you how to create a surface view uh, which will give us a place to draw on so that we can create our game in future tutorials. So we're just going to look at creating a surface view in this tutorial which is the first step towards actually creating a game or some kind of animation. So I'm going to go to File and New Android Application Project and let's call this Tennis Demo because this is going to be kind of a, a tennis game and I'll change the package name to com.caveofprogramming.android.tennis and of course you need to change that to something unique not Cave for Programming. And I'm going to set a minimum required SDK level to 11 just because there's going to be like one, literally one or two, I think, little things that I want to use from API level 11. Uh, so just for convenience, I'm going to target minimum API level 11. And I'll, I'll set the foreground color on this icon to something different as well. And let's just change it to a different icon so that I can recognize this particular game. Maybe I could have this. Okay, let's set the background to black and click next and now hopefully we should have a functioning program that could be run and I'm gonna actually right click on this package and create a new class so not an activity just a normal class and I'm going to call this game view and this is going to be a view um, a view being like a button or a text area or whatever this is going to be a view where we draw our game so I'll click finish and I'm going to go to this game view and something's horribly wrong with Eclipse so I'm just going to shut that down and restart it and some, sometimes I find that this, this whole system seems to be a little bit buggy and it seems like I can go for ages and nothing's wrong with it and then I start doing stuff and everything's wrong with it so let's just restart this in fact I'll pause recording of the video for a second okay I'm back and restarting Eclipse seems to have sorted that out so I've got this ordinary Java class that I've created called Game, game View and I'm going to say that that extends Surface View which is a class that we can use as a view to draw stuff on and let's add the import for that with Control shift o and I'm going to just click on the error and add a constructor and a constructor that I'm going to add is this middle one here that takes a context and an attribute set because that seems to be the constructor that the um, XML layout well the, the constructor that's used when stuff is inflated from an XML layout and I'm going to put this I'm going to put this class as a view in, an, in my XML layout so I've added my constructor with the context and attribute set and I'm going to go to the XML layout under resource layout and I'll get rid of the default thing that's in there, the text view. Let's go to the, um, the text view of the XML. I did actually try using this um, this kind of visual designer. Um, in fact let's give it a go now. The problem with this is it seems to be, seems to be horribly buggy and when I try to use it I end up having a, a big headache trying to get around the bugs but I just want to try to see if I can use this to add my custom view that I just created so let's go to custom and library views down here and just see if I can add game view and I'll leave it at that and now I'll go to the actually I'll save it and I'll go to the text view of the XML and here we go so we've added that and I'm going to get rid of the original text view that was in there and now I don't want quite these settings so I'm going to change the ID to just game which I think is good enough and the layout width I'm going to change to match parent layout height I'm going to change to match parent the layout below um, actually I'm, I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not actually going to have anything in this layout and let's get rid of the center horizontal and let's get rid of this margin here so what I wanted basically was just my view 
in the um, in the XML. And the the reason that I wanted to use the Visual Designer there, which I, I don't normally use, is just that if you type it by hand, to get your custom view in there, you have to type the full package name. So my view is called Game View. That's just this class here that extends Surface View. It's just a normal class. But because it's in a package, and it should be in a package, it needs to be in a package, you've got to type the full package name and then the name of the class, and that can be a little bit cumbersome. But other than that, everything's completely standard here. And I'm just telling this to fill its parent, and I'm giving it an ID, and that's all there is to it. So now if I run this, what we should see is, actually before I run it, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to go to the, um, the manifest here, and I'm going to click the application tab. Let's maximize this editor and scroll down and I'll select the main activity under application nodes and I'll browse under theme here and go to system and I'm going to change the theme for this activity to be theme.hollow.no action bar because I want this to be a full screen view. I want my activity to take up the whole screen. So let's just run this now and check that it works. And what we should see is basically a nice blank canvas that we can draw on. And I think it's going to be black because I haven't drawn anything yet. So with a bit of luck, we'll just see a big black screen with no title bar. And there we are. So that's it for this tutorial. And um, we're going to move on towards drawing some stuff in the next tutorial. And until next time, happy coding.